Hey there guys, Philippe here. Uh, today I've got a quick tutorial for you guys. Um, it's it's an only debug tutorial. It's going to be very quick, honestly. Um, all this is is a simple... I've done four of them before, if you didn't know. But all this does is it gives you a different approach to grabbing... Um, so finding where certain functions are. So if you can't find the function triggered, for example, if you want to find the shooting gun function and you can't find it through your, your uh, cheat engine address or whatever you were using to find the address. If you can't find it on Ollie with that, then uh, this is a different approach you can take. So if the first one doesn't work, I recommend you do this one. And this one's actually quite simple, it, so that's why it's going to be a fairly quick tutorial, ho hopefully. So I'm here on um, on uh, Black Ops, and uh, I was talking to the Code Kings uh, 10 yesterday about it, and uh, he was having a bit of trouble finding some stuff, so I'm just going to give him a different approach that um, I've used before on uh, games like Call of Duty Day it's usually necessary and I'm going to show you how to get a simple no recoil it's nothing special but with this approach you you can usually find other stuff and if you can't find anything with either of those approaches there's other stuff you can do but usually when you can't find anything either way you uh... oops I didn't download anything illegal um, yeah so if you can't find anything with either approach it's if you look thoroughly then that usually means that that game for example if you're looking for rapid fire and then and you can't find it with if you look properly then um, it just means it probably isn't available so the game has got some sort of protection probably so anyways I'm gonna go here I like this map so I'm gonna go for that one um, so I'm gonna fire up um, I'm just gonna lower the volume on this um, so yeah um, let me think let me think so where's Ollie debug so I'm gonna load up Ollie and you'll see this this is extremely simple and uh, it's if you haven't done it before then you'd be like well look how easy it was you know I could have done this all along but um, so what if you're doing this on black ops like I am uh, then uh, you can do this on any game and hopefully most games will give you everything you need but all we're doing today is we're looking for a series of strings in that game for example what we're gonna do on ours is we're gonna find no recoil uh, well the recoil function which is within fire weapon and we're gonna basically turn that off as you can, as you'll see so let's just wait till the game loads and I'll show you uh, I'm not actually going to take you through any instruction searching because that has been covered in the other four tutorials is it four or three I'm not sure but um, that's been covered in those so um, if you if you want to know a bit about Ollie then um, I recommend you go on any of those tutorials and you haven't if you haven't used this before and those go into f a fair bit of detail so let's go attach this as usual go to Duty Black Ops um, also, uh, Code Kings, I was looking for the um, I was looking for the rapid fire address and I couldn't find it for uh, Call of Duty. I was sure I'd found it before, but I hadn't. I think it was for another game. But um, I think what that means is that um, you either can't do it on um, Call of Duty Black Ops, so you have to find the uh, the variable that holds a double tap. You know the drink you can get. Um, if you if you get that variable, then you can. Um, all you have to do is just um, somehow keep it as one so it's probably a boolean so you'd have to keep it as true um, but the only other way of keeping the um, or increasing the fire rate on the, in this game is by um, using an auto fire script or an auto fire piece of code uh, if you guys are interested in that that makes all uh, single fire weapons really fast so if you're interested in that then let me know and I can that is really easy to do I can make a quick tutorial I've offered to do it before but it doesn't really matter um, these zombies are going to try and kill me in a second but let's go to Wally uh, so first thing you do is when you go into thing you press this E thingy which is to grab your executables and you'll see here Call of Duty Black Ops EXE so you double click on that right? I always do this twice because sometimes it goes somewhere else so do that again and double click that again just to make sure you got the right one now right click and then you go search for all reference text strings and what this does is it looks in the game for any string for example any message anything like that it finds um, and it brings it up so uh, this I think this includes comments so if the person that wrote the code uh, obviously the developers at Triarch that wrote the code and left some comments there or whatever this should show some of them and that kind of stuff so what we're gonna do here so as you can see we've got tons of comments here or uh, well basically strings they're not necessarily all comments but what we're going to do is going to go search for text and uh, what I've got here is CG fire because I was doing this earlier as a practice but 
if you just search for fire weapon, let's just see if this is working. Yeah, this is freezing a little bit because uh, Black Ops is such a high uh, memory demanding and CPU. It it might slow down your system a little bit if you. Well, I'm recording, so it's a bit worse. But if I look for fire weapon, press OK. As you can see, this isn't it. CG fake fire weapon. That's not what I'm looking for. If you press Control and L, I'm just gonna right click so you can see search next. Uh, CG fire weapon. Now this is what we're looking for. Now, uh, if we double click on this or press enter on it, uh, it goes into our fire weapon function. Now, um, obviously this is a shared thing because, um, well, it's ex complicated to explain. But if you grab the the address that it writes to, uh, don't know if I'm making much sense here. But if you go on Cheat Engine and you find the address the ammo is written to, then uh, all you have to do is just go on Cheat Engine and find out from there, and then put that address in Ollie but sometimes you, you can't do that because it won't work so if you look for the strings and then you look for you can search for anything so I'm just gonna go back here quickly we've got this here so if you're using this for any random game I recommend you you search for the words fire fire or shoot or shoot gun fire gun anything like that and those words will usually lead you to the right place if they don't it might mean that you have to use the other methods that are shown on the tutorial, on the on the um, other early debug tutorial. So let's go back onto this, uh, <laughs> and here we are. So CG fire weapon. This is where the firing weapon begins. Now I've put some comments here because uh, I've already taken you guys through the the debugging, going not debugging, but trial and error phase where you go through each um, address and you check, 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 and so on. And feel free to go. Um, I set the start here and I set the end there. And that's how it goes in. And I checked almost every address in between, not all of them, most of the jumps anyway. And then, um, often you'll find that the recoil, oh, some bastard driving outside, but often you'll find the recoil is uh, in a jump function or uh, a lot of things are just within jump. So, this here is saying jump if equals. So, all I did here was I reversed it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and buy this gun. So, I'm getting a little bit of a little frames here. You guys can still see this properly, but if you can see here, just shooting this guy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of shots here, and then I'm going to take the recoil off and show you guys it. So one thing it's good to do when you're um, doing this, just to make sure you're on the right piece of code, because this could be just a comment by the developers to put you off and to make you think, oh, you found the um, the code and you haven't actually found it. Could just be coin. So you could maybe um, go here. Uh, shooting start here. Now I defined the shooting start here be because I, I checked for breakpoints here. Now I went here and I said breakpoint harder on execution. Okay, take a shot and it doesn't stop the game, which made me think maybe this was a false address, which it wasn't. So I checked a little bit lower. I checked all these and then I got to here and I went breakpoint harder on execution. As you can see, I took a shot and it paused the game, which means we found what we were looking for. So let's remove that breakpoint. Uh, press play again. Um, just gotta be careful not so the zombies don't kill me, but I'm getting some serious lag on here. This is no good. Should have lowered the settings on Black Ops, but whatever. Ah crap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Trying to hit a single shot. But um I hope you guys can still see this half decent. Anyways, so what I'm gonna do first thing here is uh well I'm gonna try and Lower my stupid settings even more, so I uh, probably should have taken off. Oh, I can't! This is ridiculous, bloody trial bastards. Um, so, what I'm going to do here is I want to go down. All I did is I went through every jump, and it was it's usually with the Call of Duty, I've noticed Call of Duty 4, um, Modern Warfare, and this one are pretty much all the same. It's usually on the second jump. Sometimes it's J and Z that you have to reverse into a JE, and sometimes it's J that you have to reverse into the J and Z. So J and E and J and Z is the same thing. So if you just do that, it becomes J and Z. Um, and here we got no recoil. So as you can see, I'm getting no kickback whatsoever. So leave that zombie there. He's crying by himself. What is he doing? Is he just standing still there? I don't know what the hell happened. I must have killed him, maybe. I'm not going to kill this guy because he could be my last zombie. How is this guy not. Is he alive or is he dead? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Anyways, so I want to show you here quickly. Oh, I hate this slow frames per second. Hope I don't have to re-record because of this. So, anyways, I'm going to show you um, quickly here with 
recoil and then no recoil. And as you can see by my comments here, this does no recoil as well. And there's another part where, it, if you nub know this one, it seems to do no recoil as well. So the whole thing seems to be dedicated to recoil. I tried to look for a rapid fire and I couldn't find anything. Maybe it is within those deeper functions, but uh, instructions, but. Um, I couldn't find it, so maybe you guys can find it. If you do find it, let me know. I'd be interested in knowing if it was there or not. Um, so this one's not as normal, so we're going to take a couple of shots. This is zombies and idiot. So as you can see, this is close range, by the way, so I should really be using long range, so I'm going to do it on this one. So as you can see, let's take a little crouch down. As you can see, a couple of shots there. Let's do it one more time right next to it to make sure that's okay. Yeah, as you can see, look at those. So that's three or so shots, and I didn't move it up or anything. So let's reverse this. So to J N E. Um, oops, I was out of ammo. But let's have a look again. As you can see, look, I'm constantly taking shots, but you guys know what recoil looks like anyway. I'm sure you do. Um, what else? Uh, let me think. Yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. There's nothing to it. What well, all that happens is when you look for it, it gives you a ton of strings here that's the whole point of it, it gives you a ton of strings and you can look through these, obviously you don't want to read through everything but you can maybe look for the word recoil or I don't know, uh, reload, let's see if we find anything for reload and sometimes you won't find it, as you can see look, G reloading so maybe this text comes up when you when you start reloading and so on just make sure you use those breakpoints to, to ensure you're at the right place because and sometimes there's um, multiple things exactly named the same so I was cracking the program earlier because um, it, it wanted me to uh, buy the, the stupid um, program because I wanted to uninstall something and all I did was I called Ollie and I looked for the text the error text it was saying you have to register this to to be able to use it um, you know those programs that make you go through every step and they let you do everything except the thing you actually want to do at the end and they want you to buy the, the program and I was like I'm not doing that so all I did was I used Ollie and I looked for that word and I called a nope so instead of checking if the, the program um, had a key to it it just jumped that and it just did the final task even I, though I hadn't bought the software I hope I'm not in trouble by saying that but um, I'm not saying what software it is it could have been a free program you never know this internet police so um, that's about it guys I'm sorry it was a short tutorial I'm a bit tired today um, I'm also working on that DirectX tutorial, as you guys know, um, for the DirectX menu, which should be up in the next few days. Um, yeah, and I hope um, to have that within the next week or so. Uh, I can't guarantee anything as usual, but uh, I'll try my hardest to have it up by then. Um, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. As some people are having a bit of trouble with it, hopefully the search for strings will um, help you find some functions. I recommend you only use this after you use Cheat Engine and stuff like that to pinpoint your um, your address. Um, now I'm going to suicide myself with this guy, see how he likes it. And yeah, that's it guys. So uh, <laughs> I hope that was helpful in some way. And uh, I apologize if I uh, made very little sense. Thanks for watching.